get back now to our top story. This is breaking news. There's a group of protesters in front of city halls for a Black Lives Matter protest. Alicia Ash has just arrived on scene. She's joining us live right now with an update. Alicia. And good afternoon, Ken and Jenny. I want to give you a perspective on what we have here. Take a walk with me. All around here in the downtown area, Southwest 4th and Jefferson and Southwest 3rd, they have the entire area blocked off. There's about 25 different protesters that we have out here from Black Lives Matter. I've actually been talking with a few of them as to why they're doing this protest at this time. I want to bring in one of the leaders out here. First, tell everyone out there why you all have chosen this time to protest. I want to say, first and foremost, we are not here for everyone's entertainment. We are here because this is day 300. 66 for the kids out there in Ferguson. They're still out there. They are arresting 12 year olds out there. If you know about Keaton Otis, that happened here. Why is the officer that shot Keaton Otis still on the force right now? I would, we were just told we were threatened with arrests in the courtroom and told our First Amendment rights do not exist in the courtroom. So if our First Amendment rights don't exist in the courtroom, they don't exist in the streets, then where do they exist? Do they only, do they only exist when we don't have anything to say? How long do you all plan to stay out here today? For as long as it takes. All right, thank you very much for that. Again, we've got protesters out here, so if you're driving in the area, this has been shut down by police. They are all around this area as well in the downtown. We're going to continue to follow up on this for you throughout the day, but for now, Ken and Jenny, you can hear the drums and the shouting out here. This could be for a few hours at least. We'll let you know. Yeah, disrupting traffic down there for sure. Okay. Yeah, this is